well, about four days before May 31st. Uh, we flew on Discovery. Um, that's us getting suited up uh, in the ONC building, which is where crew quarters uh, is. So if you haven't been down there before, the rooms we stay in and the offices we use and occupy here before launch are right there in that building. Uh, us walking out um, of the ONC and into um, the vehicle that takes us out to the launch pad. I just want to make sure we do have sound with this, correct, when we get to the sound portion. Uh, here's us getting out to the pad. The thing that's different on launch day is there is nobody else out there. Just us, a few suit techs, a few firefighters. But other than that, it's pretty much abandoned. Sounds a lot different on launch day, too. Orbiter makes a lot of uh, a lot of noises as it's uh, you know as things cool down. There's Mike saying hi to all the Aggies in the world, and Karen's asking if she looks fat in that suit. <laughs> as Ron's strapping in, climb in about three hours before liftoff. It's a great day out there. Let's turn up the volume. You guys give us some more volume. Six seconds. Main engine start. Three coming up. Three, two, three to hundred. Hang on. Booster ignition. Auto two. Lift off. Auto two. Discovery. Auto auto. Monte Kudasai. That's the one. I see three at one oh four. I see laboratory. a command and a roll. Houston Discovery roll program. I am LBLH. LBLH. Roger roll Discovery. Roger roll Discovery. Houston now controlling the flight of Discovery, a man-made license. So what have you have to say? Uh, the digitals. Thank you. Point one. It's coming up at one point two. All right. That's all. Uh, right, we're two. two, three coming up. Hang on. Three, one, four. Spectacle. Discovery. Go with the roll up. Uh, everything we're working good. There's 90 seconds. Uh, thank you. 100,000 feet. The limb of the earth looks awesome, guys. This is less than 50. There's 103, 103. Hello. Go zero to seventeen thousand five hundred miles an hour in eight and a half minutes. Let me go. Three lights. So there we were. We just finished the most thrilling ride of our lives. But now we got to uh, turn our rocket ship into a spaceship, which is a lot of work. And there's so much work involved that we're constantly focused on what we're doing. And there's no time to take pictures. <laughs> It's a really, really busy time frame. No snacks. <laughs> Actually, uh, in all seriousness, we are, we're chasing down the space station. Uh, we got about a million miles to go to catch it. Uh, here's Mark doing the, one of the many rendezvous burns as we try to precisely guide Discovery all the way to our destination, which uh, we see here for the first time at a beautiful sunrise. And the ship is just amazing. She's, uh, she's absolutely huge. Um, it's a beautiful sight. Um, we're showing up here about 600 feet right below space station. And uh, here's Aki running the, uh, the laser range finder, telling us exactly how far away we are. Initiating RPM. And Mark says something Three, to me. Three, two, one, Mark. He says something that uh, every passenger of an airliner hates to hear. He says, watch this. And he reaches over, grabs a stick, and he goes, I'm going to do a loop. <laughs> so here's Mark doing his loop. All right. In serious uh, seriousness, if he were to do that, he would get fired. But uh, <laughs> anyway, he finishes his loop, uh, and we go about the rest of our rendezvous. Uh, here we're about 20 feet away, maybe two minutes or so. But we've come almost a million miles, uh, and we are down to a, a tolerance of about three inches for the docking. And here's uh, Mark guiding uh, the docking ring right into the heart of the target. Mighty 
Yeah, you can tell us that. A pretty exciting time for us. 0.09. Two inches. Capture light. And Houston and station capture confirmed. And that's a big right, milestone right. behind us. There was uh, much rejoicing. Thanks. It's a lot of training, man. Good job, Mark. <laughs> Thank you. That was a great, great hey. fly. <laughs> Discovery arriving. <laughs> hey, you guys. Hey, you guys. Look at it. Are you looking for a plumber? <laughs> first, words, first words across the hatch were, anybody looking for a plumber? Uh, it was kind of an emphatic yes. Uh, as we come on board, Dan, it's, it's time to say hi to some, uh, some old friends. It's been a trip for us. Uh, they've been up there for a while and uh, real happy to see some fresh faces and get some fresh food. Uh, it's a, you know, first you just say hi and then it's off to safety briefings and a quick tour of the station. Uh, after that, it's time to get to work. Uh, within an hour of uh, getting the hatch open, we're dragging the spacesuits across to uh, set those up for the first uh, EVA the next day. Uh, and Mark shown here uh, pulling some of the big bags and getting those uh, temporarily stowed on the station. In just a few hours, Ronnie and I were on the um, O2 masks in the airlock preparing to uh, spend the night there, what we call a camp out, to help uh, get some of the nitrogen out of our bodies, get ready for the next day when we suit up to go out on the uh, first of our three spacewalks here. All right, boys, it's time to rock and roll. It's, uh, it's a really an amazing thing to be stepping outside. Uh, my first words to Ron as, uh, as he came out were, don't look down. <laughs> uh, and uh, then, you know, with a little adaptation time, we we're moving. Uh, it's space walk is what we call it. But, of course, your hands are what's doing all the real work, as you can see from the video here. Uh, we we're spending some time in the payload bay early on. Ron's uh, peeking in the back window of the shuttle there. It's really strange to watch these guys in shirt sleeves drinking coffee and eating M&Ms while we're outside in an environment that's about plus and minus 200 degrees. We're pulling off the uh, covers that are on the, uh, the birthing module seals on the end of the uh, Japanese lab uh, there. To Really, the biggest part of this EVA was preparing the uh, JPM-4 installation on the space station. By EVA-2, the video shown here, the uh, Japanese lab is installed, and we're taking uh, some, the first thing we did was took some new cameras down to install those on the far end of the Japanese lab, and then we're pulling the covers off of the, the, uh, the uh, arm, the Japanese uh, RMS, and the, uh, the, there's a berthing mechanism on the top of the lab also that we uh, moved a logistics module to. Uh, we did share a lot of the audio with you from this mission and intentionally did not share the audio from the task of trying to uh, 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 get all of those covers stuffed in the bag, if you catch my drift. Um, by the third EVA, we're, uh, we're uh, well, no, this is still on the second one, sorry. Uh, we, this is the SARGE. You've heard about the solar array rotary joint, the rotating mechanism on the station with some problems. We did get a look at that to, uh, to take a look at some of the debris and practice some cleaning techniques. The third spacewalk was all about the replacing the nitrogen tank assembly. Uh, Ron's on the end of the 80-foot, 5-foot station arm here, uh, hauling a 500-pound uh, tank from one side of the station. We call it the windshield wiper maneuver all the way over to the other side. And uh, I was working the new one there, and we kind of swapped those out. Uh, it was a great view, and Ron was really thrilled to be that high up above, literally the highest person in the world at that point. And uh, with a view of the station down below that you can see here, the earth going by at a very disturbing five miles per second. Uh, he, uh, he did have to just take the advantage to appreciate the curve of the earth out there and just how, uh, how beautiful it really was. Of course, when he reaches the other end, and Karen uh, and Aki did a, a masterful job of moving him back and forth, then it was uh, time to pay attention to the details of getting that thing all properly installed. And he did, uh, he did all that solo. It was really a great job. Um, later in that EVA, I'm taking a, using the tape here to get some a little, little fine uh, debris samples off the uh, uh, solar array rotary joint again, uh, while Ron is installing that camera that we brought in on, on EVA two and re did some repairs. You see, it's a real bothersome uh, work site hanging on the bottom of the station there, and I can't resist doing one more wave for the cameras as we uh, call it a wrap on three EVAs in about 20 and a half hours outside. Uh, with uh, one last uh, kind of look around, it's time to pull the thermal cover shut, get the hatch closed. They repressurize, and it's been a lot of work. We worked on these spacewalks for uh, well over a year, year and a half, and uh, we were pretty excited.